Well, thank you, Roger. I have to tell you all, I'm very honored and touched by Roger Penske's humbling remarks. It's been more than four decades, as you heard, since we first met in Detroit. And I know it won't be long before I'll be able to honor him at this Hall of Fame. I first want to take a moment to thank my daughter Lexi for that wonderful painting which appears on the cover of this year's Hall of Fame program. I cannot be more proud of her talent and wonderful work. Thank you, Lexi. And your talent is on display for everyone here to admire. I'm proud and pleased that so many my family are here tonight. My son Chris and his wife have flown in from New York, and it's a pleasure for me to share tonight with them. And thank you to my son Casey, who's worked his heart out to make this evening a spectacular success. I'm so pleased that he and his wife Ashley are also here tonight. And of course, it would not be impossible for me not to thank my wife Mary Kay. Over the years, she's always been amazed, amazed, that whenever the conversation might drift away from cars, from the car business, it took no less than two minutes to bring it back to cars. <laughs> she has put up with these conversations for way too long. I'm fortunate to have a very special family, which now includes nine grandchildren, and I love you all. I also have to pay my warmest respects to my fellow inductees. I have to congratulate Dave Powers, a man who I have known forever. Dave, I applaud your efforts to bring order to the chaos that once existed in our industry. You are the godfather of a deeply analytical approach to customer satisfaction that has become the standard of the world. You've made it a better place for consumers and we all should be grateful. And congratulations to Ferdinand Pieck, one of the very best designers and product planners in the world, ever. His engineering prowess is legendary, and he has built Volkswagen Group and its many, many brands into a powerhouse in the car industry. I've known him for decades, and I'm sorry he cannot be here tonight. And Alex Tremulus was a giant among designers. His success is well known, and what Jack said is just so very, very true. But most of all, I want to share this honor with all the talented people, both past and present, from Automotive News and Auto Week, who have created such an influential voice within the automobile industry. I'm particularly pleased to thank the recently retired publisher of Automotive News, Peter Brown. Peter was my colleague for almost three decades and is one of the finest newsmen in the business. He helped all of us build automotive news into the powerhouse it is today. There's a reason people still call automotive news the Bible of the industry. To all the great journalists who continue to make automotive news the icon within this industry, I thank each and every one of you. And most of all, most of all, to so many of you in this audience, I owe you all a great debt, because without you, I would never have learned what I know about this great industry. Without your individual success, and maybe sometimes failures, we would never have the exciting newspaper, website, and video newscasts each and every week. As I look out on the guests, who have honored me with your presence tonight, I thank you for your friendship and for your mentoring. I owe each and every one of you a great debt. This is a very special business. For more than a century, the car business has attracted the best and the brightest from all over the world. There are plenty of industries that are interesting, but there is no industry that has as much excitement surrounding the people and the products as this car business. 
From the time the car business was born, it has been a world filled with colorful personalities, captivating stories, great triumphs, fascinating failures, and entertaining battles. It's a pretty magical place for a reporter. This is an industry with unbridled passion and oh, so many stories. How fortunate that we as journalists can sit in a front row seat to all of this action. We have always said that automotive news is the industry's staunchest advocate and severest critic. But we are the note takers of the history, the stenographers, the biographers, the record keepings of this dynamic, passionate environment. You supply the material, we just write about it. And I have been blessed to help chronicle this industry and the people who have made it great for more than four decades. The executives that I have known were and are the who's who of this industry. And I have listened to what they have said and I've learned a great deal from their words of wisdom. And what a run it has been when I started working for Automotive News in 1971, there was a pretty quiet time in this business. The automobile world was a simple place. The government, our government, was only just starting to regulate the industry. I couldn't have imagined the changes over 40 years. Just two years after coming to Detroit, the world saw the first oil crisis. And life in the automobile industry has never ever been the same. The car business has been interesting, exciting, exhilarating, and filled with chaos ever since. And thanks to the College for Creative Studies, I am so pleased that we are having this ceremony here tonight. I continue to enjoy my relationship with CCS, an institute that Wally Ford, Henry Ford's brother-in-law, got me involved with more than 30 years ago. And it seems fitting that this evening's celebration is in the former design center of General Motors. It was the home of Harley Earl, whose office is just and was just a few steps from this very spot. I have to tell you all, I love cars. From the very, being a very young man, I have always loved cars but I love the men and women in this business even more. They are what makes this business so exciting. Whether they're working for dealerships or suppliers or manufacturers, they're the life's blood of this business. And it has been the most exciting business for the last hundred years. And I guarantee you, I have no doubt that it will continue to be just as exciting in the future. I am humbled truly, to be inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame. But I look forward to continuing to help chronicle the industry today and for many tomorrows to come. Thank you all, and God bless you.